Hello, my fabulously goofy friends. Welcome back to another Disney Fab Five and Friends soap series video for the month of November. So excited about this one. As you can tell, I am sporting my Goofy's Race and a Half Challenge shirt because we are gonna make Goofy. Similar to Dopey, this one had a few challenges in that my first attempt, the soap really discolored. Again, like I did for Dopey, I really wanted things to be a little nutty because, you know, goofy, nutty, crazy, that was kind of my theme. But I just couldn't put the soap out, so I recreated it. You get to see the updated version, and honestly, this may be one of my favorite scents that I've done for one of these Disney soaps because it is just, like, it blows my mind. This scent blows my mind. Stick around, jump in to find out why, because I'm guessing you're thinking it's going to be a little different than what we were originally planning. So let's see how it's made, and then we'll come back and take a look at both versions and get your thoughts. Oh, gosh, who's ready to make some soap with my terrible impression of Mr. Goofy himself. Yeah, I am I'm I'm not good with impressions, so um but I I don't mind poking fun of myself, you know? Life's short. <laughs> All right, let's get this mixed up. I still see some uh, oil right there, so we're not quite ready. All right, let's see. Give us another good swirl. How are we doing? I'm liking that. All right, Mr. Goofy himself is here and ready to play. I want to go off the side this time because every time... I go out the spout, I always, and it's still ending out in the spout. So we're just gonna do this. All right, good enough. Okie dokie, well, that means I've gotta do some scraping down here of the sides. This is always so hard with the shaft. So I am going to, I'll take that off for now. Let's scrape this down. Ooh. Yes, I love soap making. Man, this is so relaxing. Okay, this is, I don't want that. I want this one. This is actually my third time making this soap because the first time I tried doing this, the color fragrance really discolored and I was not happy with it. I also did not love, I did a green mica line and it just looked too chalky. So I remade it in a really awesome, fun new fragrance that honestly I love so much more. And I think it is, it's, it's, it's a dupe that is absolutely fantastic. And it's not a dupe of like a, by dupe, I mean dupe, duplication of a scent that you wouldn't think is something that we would be duplicating. Yet here we are doing it because I'm gonna add this to my other ones as well. You're like, all right, just tell me what it is. I'm going to. It is Fruity Rings. Yes, you read that right, Fruity Rings. It smells just like the cereal. I am adding some activated charcoal into this smaller container for the drip. And I'm just gonna kind of let it sit there. The others I pre-mixed because they were much brighter. This one, this blue is Blue Shocker. So it is the neon blue. We will go back to blending this up here because I want to thicken this. And this orange is Tangerine Dream here. Look at that. Yep, I think this is going to be awesome. All right, let me scrape this out. I've just diluted these in a little bit of olive oil. Nothing too crazy, just a little bit of olive oil to help get them to really blend. 
I don't want it to be too chunky. Let us blend up. I'm gonna put these two off to the side here. Just let that sit. And now let's get our blue shocker mixed up. <laughs> a beautiful color like I can't even with it and I'm just gonna take a little whisk here I think this is gonna be good enough and I am going to tap this out I'm gonna put this I'm not gonna put it in the sink yet I'm just gonna put it on a paper towel I have off camera because I may need it I may not I don't know Let's pour this first to let it set up and then I'm gonna kind of whisk these in. The fragrance oil is clearly behaving. All right, let's get this in here. I love the way the soap pours. Is this not such a great blue? Look at that. This would be a really nice blue to use in some of my sea inspired ocean beachy inspired soaps it just has that really rich true kind of crayon i'm not paying attention i'm gonna need to clean that one up clearly i'm more paying attention to the bottom and that's what i did you guys couldn't even see to yell at me where were you there come on folks where were you Let's do what I can to get as much out. It's really hard sometimes to get every last drop, but I want to get what I can out. That's good for right now. This needs to get cleaned up. All right, I've got a paper towel here. Let me just wipe this down. All right. Then I want to get the side because I want there to be that distinct layering happening. Oh boy, I was getting, I was on too good of a streak here with not completely ruining. And see, there I go, just dipping the paper towel into it. All right, guys. Okay, here we go. Let's try this one more time. Get in here. Get that. You guys can see the uh, reflection of my overhead light here, right here. That's my overhead light, but I kind of need that to be able to see. All right, let me put this off to the side here and let's go over to our other colors. Let's see how this is working out. How are these colors looking? All right, these are blending pretty well. I'm not even sure I'm going to need, let's get this in here for you. I'm not sure I'm even gonna need to blend this up but what I may need to do is just kind of let it set for a few, for a little bit while I do some dishes because this is gonna take a little bit more time to set up. Let's see how this black, hmm, look at this. I love seeing these colors just come together. You know what I think I'm gonna do and what I like to do with my activated charcoal colors lately is I want to add just a touch of vitamin E, an itty bitty tiny bit of it into the activated charcoal. And it just helps to, like literally that was a tiny drop. It's gonna help keep this a little bit moist, um, not be overly drying. All I can really claim is that this is going to be a really nice bar of soap that's gonna get you clean. But if you look up the properties of vitamin E, if you look up the properties of activated charcoal, you can make some decisions on your own. All right, let's see, how is this setting up? Nope, I want a little bit more time. So I am going to wash a couple of these dishes and then I'm gonna come back and do a pour. This is, should be good to still do a drop swirl because I haven't really over mixed these. 
Yeah, the colors are looking wonderful. I love how they're looking. So yeah, let me do a few dishes, let this set up, and I'll come right back and show you the pour for the top. Okay, well, as I was doing that, my light that I have attached to my camera tripod decided to stop working. So I had to fix that as well at the same time. But this is set up lovely, and I am ready to do my drop swirl. So let me, I don't need this whisk anymore. Put that in the sink and let us, I'm gonna do an initial, let's see, how can I do this? Let's do an initial pour. So I have a confession to make. I did not see a Goofy movie until this year. Like seriously, had not seen the movie until really only a few months ago. I don't know why, I, don't, I should look up when it came out. I'm thinking it's just because it came out at a time when I was like, I don't know, in middle school or high school and it wasn't the cool thing to do or something like that. All right, I love the way that looks. That, I'm gonna stop right there, right? That's goofy. That's all we need to know, right? No, but we gotta keep going. We got lots of soap left and this is going to be really fun to see come together. All right, I've got three, two there. Now let's start on this end. And let's do three. See if we get a little different look there. Starting on different ends, just kind of mixing it up a little bit. Gotta mix it up, right? I need to know, please tell me if I am the only one that did not see a Goofy movie until this year, or if you're like me and just hadn't seen it, or if you're like, oh my God, where have you been hiding under a rock? Because, wow. And that's okay, you can tell me I'm crazy. I know I am. I don't need anyone to tell me that. I'll admit it. All right, let's get the last of this orange in. And now this kind of looks like Tigger which I'm gonna to need to do a whole month of Winnie the Pooh characters. I mean, Pooh, Eeyore, Piglet, Rabbit, Christopher Robin. Come on, that would be an awesome series. I just need to figure out when that would be. Because I'm leaning towards, and you guys are going to hear this here first, leaning towards a Pixar theme next month. I have a Nemo soap that I just made and I'm plotting out a few more Pixar characters. So you will have to let me know if you have a favorite Pixar character, Pixar movie. What What is your go-to Pixar? Let me know. I already know who some people would pick. All right, that's about all I can get. That's pretty good. And let's finish off with the black before we do our typical overlapping figure eight top. All right, this is going to be very, uh, very rustic here because you know what? That's what we got. Be really curious to see how this looks when I cut into it because this is such a nice fluid batter here, and I think it's going to make for a really interesting look. Ah, and that's the thing about soap. You never know how different fragrance oils are going to behave, how they're going to change your soap, and what it's going to allow you to do. So far, I love it. This fragrance, oh my goodness, it smells like that rainbow, round, cereal, fruity that you would have as a child or maybe you still have now. I will not judge one bit. In fact, I would cheer you for that. So let me, I'll probably have to do this again. But now let us do a good old swirl here. And I do, you can see eight, I'm doing an eight and then I'm kind of overlapping these eights when I go through and make these swirls. I'm doing this in slow motion so you can kind of see 
what I do here, but by overlapping them, I get more interest. I'm barely going through the top because I don't want to swirl too far into the soap because I don't want to disrupt the drop swirl. All right, that is perfect. That is exactly how we are going to leave it. Well, besides our rubbing alcohol, let's spray that. And then we will cut into this tomorrow. I wish I could cut into this now, but I'm impatient. So yeah, we will see what this looks like in a little bit. I'm excited. All right, we've got a soap and you can see there might have been a few drips of the blue there, but hey, you know what? It is what it is. I am super excited to cut into this soap that smells, oh my goodness, like my childhood. Now, I was not a huge, huge cereal fan growing up, but this just smells like fruity cereal like the fruity, like circular one, or even the, um, the rice, fruity rice cereal. It smells so good. All right, yep, that is totally goofy. This soap is definitely a little soft still, but it's gonna work out just fine. It'll cure up perfectly. You'll notice, I don't know if you can see, that I went through and I trimmed off, ooh, that is awesome. I trimmed off the edges here a little bit. So if you see it almost looking a little flaky in a way, I use this little tool here. Uh, let's see, yeah, there you go. So you can see I used it to scrape off the sides. It kind of went over the mold. So that's what I did first. And I will clean everything up once it's cured a little bit, wow. This is fantastic. I am loving this. Okay, if you have young kids that love like fruity cereal, you need to get this soap for them. They would have so much fun using this. Like I am obsessed with how this smells and I don't even love, like it just smells just like it. I am blown away by how much it smells like the fruity cereal. I don't know, you guys are just going to have to believe me on it or grab yourself a bar because it is wild. Wow. Like, sir, I did not expect this to smell that good. And I am, in a way, I am so glad that my first batch discol discolored so much. Excuse me. Woo. I am so glad that my first batch discolored so much that made me redo it in this scent because, wow. I let, it literally smells like a cereal. As I'm cutting this, I'm getting more and more of the scent. I'm kind of forgetting to talk about Goofy right now, but um, yeah, it is what it is because this scent is just so darn fabulous. All right, I'm gonna keep cutting this and um, I'm gonna have to think of more ways to use a scent, but I will check in with you really soon to see how this scent holds up, how the colors, because we know I had some discoloration early on. So let's see how well this holds up. Cross our fingers that everything stays good because I think this is a masterpiece, darling. All right, I'll check in soon. All right, welcome back. Again, stark contrast between these two. Like, seriously, same colors, really discolored. You can see how, how long I've had this one because it shrunk as well. I was not crazy about the mica on top. I just didn't like it. And this discolored way too much. But I'm gonna put 
the soap down on my table below here. This soap smells just like the fruit cereal. Like it's, it blows my mind as I'm sitting here talking to you or standing here, I should say. I think what I might do is remake this, not, not my goofy soap, but use this scent and do like a creamy white soap with several different colors of a drops roll to kind of represent the actual like milk and cereal bits. I think that would be so fun. What do you guys think? Do you like this scent? You know, I think it's so crazy. Um, I love it so much. But my real question for you today is, have you done or have you considered doing a Run Disney race? And if so, what is your favorite? And, you know, bonus question, are you signed up for any of the Marathon Weekend Virtuals? Which is, again, what has inspired all of these Fab Five and Friends soaps. Let me know down below. But until next time, you guys, have a fabulous day and get out there, create something absolutely beautiful. I will see y'all real soon.